Yes, aloha from Tropical Factoria. For now, it is home to some hundreds of pets, as you just said, some 600 plus pets transferred from the Hawaiian Islands. The pandemic shutdown there has made it very, very tough on those shelters. So a lot of do-gooders, too many to name right now, got together and said, bring them over. We got some good homes here in Washington, Oregon, Montana, you name it. Uh, some of them have shown up here today, whether or not they saw the sign waiting for them, welcoming them to their new temporary home at Seattle Humane here in Factory. It's been quite a journey that started in Hawaii and ended just this morning at Boeing Field. Hi, I'm Liz Baker. I'm CEO of Greater Good Charities. The largest air transport flight uh, just landed from Hawaii. We are in Boeing Field. Uh, we took off last night after stopping at every island. With the, the onset of the pandemic with COVID, um, the commercial airliners were not flying in and out of Hawaii, and that's how a lot of these groups get their animals adopted, is to transport to um, the mainland. And so uh, we decided it was a situation uh, that we would assist with. Um, and so, yeah, six, 600 animals came here today and will be going on to 12 or 13 different groups, uh, mostly in the Pacific Northwest, to be adopted. Washington, Oregon, we're flying one, um, one, one plane load to Montana. They're pretty hungry. It's really, um, the community has come together. The people of Hawaii were gracious enough to trust us with the care of their pets. Um, this wouldn't be possible without John R. Peterson Foundation Wings of Rescue and Greater Good Charities, and then all the groups here and all the people in your community who are willing to adopt, which is why we can transport animals here, because your community is so amazing, and th there's homes, there's homes for them. And for me personally, um, the love of my life, uh, an amazing pit bull named Stella died unexpectedly on Tuesday. And I saw a little pit bull puppy coming from Hilo. And so he will be going home with me to Tucson. It took help from Two, three. volunteers. And they're all people that are volunteering or that are picking up animals. These groups will take them off and then be in their care. And then a lot of them are already adopted. Yeah, it was it was an emotional and very powerful experience on the tarmac where Brandon from Seattle Humane was there. What's happening inside? Because I know a lot of furry friends are getting the checkout in here. Oh, yeah, we're doing a lot of checkouts right now. We have a lot of uh, staff who have come in, a lot of people who have volunteered. We were working on different shifts. A lot of people worked to change their shifts so they could come in here to handle all of the intake that we're doing right now. Everybody is really excited to be here and to be able to help out our shelter partners in Hawaii after so long being apart due to this COVID-19 pandemic we're mm -hmm. dealing with right now. Thanks for what you're doing. The staff is busy inside. Don't rush down. They need homes, a lot of them, but make sure you get on the website. It's just like buying a house. Get pre-approved, fill out their form. You come down, they're doing the curbside thing. He did mention there's at least one Chihuahua inside. You've been warned, ladies and gentlemen. They'll be on the website soon, right? Yeah, we're gonna to have to uh, deal with a number of unaltered pets. So we're gonna be doing a lot of spay and neuter uh -huh. surgeries over the weekend, getting them ready. So we just ask people to keep an eye out on the website. We're hoping to have them up um, as soon as possible, probably early next week um, All right. at the soonest. And then we'll go ahead and uh, let people know through our social media pages to check them out. That's the scene. Pause up across the Pacific. A very special day. 600 pets looking for their forever homes. Might be you.